<laughs> okay guys, welcome back. I'm Super Dave. Today I'm going to do my best to very efficiently, quickly talk about the personal skill rating. Had a lot of questions about this lately. A few of you guys wanted me to do a video on it, so here I am doing it. Um, this, if you guys don't know what your personal skill rating is, we're going to start off by explaining it. First of all, it's the points that you get from competitions. A lot of times people refer to it as your competition rating. Um, and it's down there on the bottom left of your screen. Um, now, where it plays a port part is the leaderboard right over here. And we're going to talk about this a little bit. So how you get points is if you have not done any comps, the game figures are not going to do well. So if you do well in a comp, you gain points. And if you get farther up, like into the top 100, uh, like I currently am, uh, you, if you get uh, a bad finish where the game expects you to finish a very high in the group, for example, where I am, if you don't finish in the top 15% or 10% of the field, you will not get points, uh, you know, or you will lose points. Um, and it kind of scales up as you go, but it never completely zeroes out. For example, if the top player will go up here, let's say at Commando gets third place in a competition that has 30 people, he's still going to gain points even if he got beat by people behind him. Um, so it is a accumulation of your competition points. I want to be very clear about that because... If, if, if it was a active leaderboard board like a lot of other games, if you lose to other players, it doesn't matter if they're below you, you lose points in a lot of other ones. Um, that's the issue I have, but there's some other issues we're going to talk about. One thing, too, a myth, a couple myths I want to stamp out because I've tested these. Um, it is not based on solely on your position and what i mean by that is if you get third every time your points are not going to be th the same every time um a, for example if you get um where i am at at level set or in at player number 70 um if i get fifth in a competition with 120 people i'm going to gain points if i get fifth in a competition where only eight or nine people finish which does happen um, sometimes late at night on the not as popular comps, I actually lose a lot of points. So it is based on the percentage of where you finish in the field, not the actual place per se. Fourth doesn't give you the same points every time at the same skill level. It, 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 like I said, it varies on how many people are in the field. Also, one thing too that I've heard that is absolutely untrue um, as there is a lot of what I call bro science, somebody says something and then repeats it uh, until everybody thinks it's the truth. If if you go into a competition for the first time, it's still going to judge you exactly like you've done that competition a million times. Um, a prime example of that is um, on Nahar and Minimal, when I was doing the guides for it my first time in, I got 10th out of... Uh, 50 people or something like that and lost or uh, got got a zero and then you go over to another comp that I normally do really well at like top on a rodeo and get 10th out of 50 people and still get like a zero it's the same thing whether you've done it a lot or not very many it just expects you to finish it in a place now as you rank up and get more points that place moves up so the game will expect you, for example, for me, it expects me to be in the top 10 or 15% of every comp, no matter what. And if I'm not, I either lose points or get a zero. Um, and if, for example, a person had just started, if they get in the, if they get 75th out of 100 people, they can gain points um, if you have a zero. Uh, just kind of to explain how the points work. Now, some of the flaws with the points um, is it, it it's it's an accumulation of points. It's not an active standing. So, right now, it would be safe to assume the best player in the last two months has been you know 
somebody that has more than one comp, obviously. <laughs> um, and and I say that, and I have zero comps. I to me, honestly, they need to fix this leaderboard. I shouldn't even be on the leaderboard anymore. Um, and also, this leaderboard will tell you for two months. I tested it. I have not done a competition in two months. In my last played, it came off of there. So it is based on your uh, this that played in wins total come off of your last ten or our last two months. It doesn't go off your career total because if you go down to me. As you can see, uh, down here, I have, I guess I could have went to my profile page, but you can see I do have 16 wins, not zero. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at this leaderboard if you're wondering why people are here. Um, also, an issue with the uh, leaderboard is the, I know people, not calling it out, I just know people that enjoy the same comps, only do a couple comps. And they do very well in it. And I don't know if that is a good way to judge people. If you're only doing a limited comp, my opinion is is it should penalize you if you only do a few comps. Um, you know, in the in the leaderboard. And then also another thing is is uh, doing a ton of comps can really hurt you. For example, I did basically any comp that came up when I was trying to do the guides for you guys, and that you know, can hurt because when you're doing a competition for the new first time, like for me, I don't practice and use the, um, uh, let's see here. I'll show you guys really quick in custom comps. You can create and format a cat like this cheesy cat and set the time. And it'll be, you can get the weather to what it is and you practice and you can use it like a practice. It does work very well. It is not like 2AT the best thing to do, but that's a good way to do it. I never do that. I didn't care about my skill rating. I just went into comps willy-nilly and just tried to learn them. Um, and that can hurt you. Uh, and then also, another reason this board is not very effective is I know players that only do competitions where you can dump your bag. And what happens is, is if you dump your bag... For you guys that don't know, uh, on certain comps that have keep nets, most of them, I think all but two, I'm not actually 100% sure I don't dump my bag, or I never dump my bag, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, you can dump your bag and the game thinks you never did the competition at all, so if you have a bad run, you can dump your bag. A lot of people do it in the top 100. Um, I personally didn't. I did it like once or twice just to make sure it actually was a thing. Um, because you don't know what you hear, but you definitely can dump your bag and get a zero, and, and, and that will help you in the comp that you would have lost. So that's another flaw with the system. And then also, too, it being an accumulation of points, it doesn't really show you um, actively how good a player is. For example, if a player just started right now and they won their first 50 comps, in a row, which is insane, by the way. It would be insane. I've won six in a row, and that's really good. And um, you would never catch the people at the top. You just ate one. You're too far behind. You could be the best player in the world, and these guys obviously are really good at the top. I'm not saying they aren't. But if you were the best player in the world, you're not going to catch these guys four years down the road. It's just not possible. Um, because it's an accumulation of points, they don't lose, you know, the points just keep going up and up. And for example, um, to get in the top 100, two months ago, I think points totals were like 2,000. So they've already just even get to the top 100, the whole point system has climbed. Um, also, a, another big flaw is because of it being a points accumulation, it doesn't um, here, let's show you mine here. I made it to the top 100 without even 400 competitions, which is very good in a lot of ways. But anyway, right now I have under 500 comps with 16 wins. And you will see that, for example, let's just click on the guy below me. I'm not trying to point anybody out in this. Um... But this guy has 70 or 700 completed with uh, less wins. 
And actually, he may maybe even top. Yeah, it looks like even less top threes. And I've done it with less people, and we're only six point points apart. So that's kind of kind of interesting because if it was an active leaderboard like most games, I there would be a gap between me and this player, who is a very nice guy, by the way. I'm not trying to rip on him. I actually know that player. That's a very good, very good and nice player. Um, but I'm just using an example. And for example, here, um, let's see, let's do. Uh, this is another good player. Uh, Fifteen hundred completed tournament or comps, thirty wins. So he's got three times the, the amount of competitions, but not three times the amount of wins. So if I was at his win percentage, I would have three times more than what I would, which would um, put me at that forty-eight mark for that if I had played as many comps. So, like I said, based on the system, it doesn't mean you're actively the best by any means. Not saying I'm better than any of these players, but if you went off the record, uh, you could see that a higher win percentage doesn't help you, or a higher top three percentage doesn't help you. It just gains the points that you do have. Um, and at the end of the video, as a prime example, I think I have a screenshot of when I was somewhere. I don't know where I was at my peak. I barely paid attention to this leaderboard. But somewhere at my peak in the mid-60s, I had a play, better win versus played um, percentage on against a lot of the people in the top 20. Not so as you can see right here, as I pulled it up right now and edited the video with it, you can see that my win and comp amount were my win percentage was very good compared to the people around me that and it does not affect where you are on the leaderboard it will help you in the long run if you do a bunch of comps which is again a accumulation of points but not an active leaderboard um, because for somebody like king rafa who's literally won one cop in every 10 he does, which is an insane number. He's behind people that aren't winning comps at all or winning at a slightly lower percentage like Kratos here, who also is a very good player. Also, if you get a top 200 in, in your rating, it's just a good, you're a solid player no matter what. But like I said, I wanted to point out the flaws to the system with you guys and explain it a little bit more. If I forget anything, I will leave it down in the comments. Um, but hopefully this clears up the rating system for you. But one thing I will tell you guys is don't worry about your rating. I have, I've had friends in the past that have been chasing the top 100 for years. Um, but anyway, guys, hopefully it shows or helps you out. And I'll have that screenshot here at the very end. If you're not subscribed to me, it's never too late to make the right choice. Well, unless you're not alive anymore, then it's too late. But anyway, guys, have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.